Hello, financial explorers. Today, we're tackling a topic that's crucial to everyone, regardless of your investing journey. The importance of building emergency funds. We all love the thrill of investing and seeing our money grow, but ensuring we have a safety net for life's unexpected turns is equally, if not more, important. After all, a well-built emergency fund is like a financial bodyguard quietly protecting us from unexpected expenses, job loss, or sudden life changes. It provides peace of mind and lets us take calculated investment risks, knowing we have a backup. But how do you start building one? And what are the key factors to consider? That's precisely what we'll explore in this video. I must remind you that I'm not a financial advisor. These videos are for educational purposes only. Investing of any kind involves risk. While it is possible to minimize risk, your investments are solely your responsibility. It's imperative that you conduct your own research. I am merely sharing my opinion with no guarantee of gains or losses on investments. Here are the key points we will be diving into. One, understanding the role of an emergency fund. Two, how much should be in your emergency fund. Three, steps to start building your emergency fund. Four, best places to keep your emergency fund. Five, the role of discipline in building and maintaining an emergency fund. Six, common mistakes to avoid when building an emergency fund. Seven, the impact of an emergency fund on your overall financial health. Stay with us because each of these points could be the difference between financial stress and financial resilience. Remember, knowing is not enough, we must apply. Let's embark on this journey towards financial security together. Let's go. All right, folks, let's dive into our first point, understanding the role of an emergency fund. Imagine this, you're on a thrilling roller coaster ride, having the time of your life. Suddenly, there's a glitch, and the ride comes to a screeching halt. Everyone's safe, but you're stuck high above the ground with no immediate way down. Unsettling, right? Now think of an emergency fund as your safety harness, keeping you secure until help arrives. An emergency fund plays a similar role in your financial life. It's a stash of money set aside to cover the financial surprises life throws your way. These unexpected events can be anything from a sudden job loss, an urgent home repair, to an unexpected medical bill. These situations can arise without warning and can be costly. The goal of an emergency fund is to provide a financial safety net without having to rely on credit cards or loans, which can lead to debt. It's like having an umbrella ready for when it rains. It gives you peace of mind knowing that you're financially protected and allows you to make better decisions in other areas of your personal finance. Remember, in the world of finance, prevention is always better than cure. Stay tuned as we move on to how much you should have in your emergency fund. Moving right along, let's address a big question. How much should be in your emergency fund? Just like when you're packing for a trip, you want to make sure you have enough, but not so much that you're weighed down. The answer to this question is not one size fits all. It's more of a one size fits your lifestyle situation. A good rule of thumb is to aim for three to six months worth of living expenses. This includes your rent or mortgage, groceries, utilities, transportation, and any other monthly bills you have. Consider this. If you lost your income tomorrow, how long would it take you to find a similar job? The higher the uncertainty, the more you might want to save. It's all about creating a safety net that fits your life and your needs. Building an emergency fund might seem daunting, but every little bit helps. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. If you're finding this useful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to continue learning with us. Stay tuned, there's more to come. Starting to build your emergency fund can seem like a mountainous task, but don't worry, I'm here to guide you through it. Remember, it's not a sprint, but a marathon. Begin with setting a realistic initial goal. Perhaps $500 or $1,000, something that can cover minor unexpected expenses. Next, automate your savings. Set up a direct deposit from your paycheck into your emergency fund. Out of sight, out of sight, out of mind, and before you know it, you'll have a growing safety net. Then look for ways to increase your income or decrease your spending. Every bit of extra money can be directed towards your fund. Finally, be patient with yourself. Finally, be patient with yourself. Building an emergency fund takes time, but it's worth it for the peace of mind it brings. Keep watching. We're just getting to the exciting part. 
All right, so you've started building your emergency fund, but where should you keep it? The key is balancing accessibility and growth. A high yield savings account is a fantastic option. These accounts offer better interest rates than traditional savings accounts, helping your money grow while still being easily accessible. Uh, another option could be money market accounts. They function much like savings accounts, but usually offer a higher interest rate. Remember though, the goal is to keep this money safe and accessible, so more volatile options like stocks might not be the best choice for your emergency fund. Stay with us, we've got more important tips coming up that you won't want to miss. And if you're finding this helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a like. Discipline is the superhero of your financial journey, especially when building an emergency fund. Think of your fund as a safety net, not a piggy bank. It might be tempting to dip into it for non-emergencies, but stay strong. Automating your savings can help maintain discipline. Set up an automatic transfer to your emergency fund each month. You'll hardly notice it, but over time, your fund will grow. Also, keep your emergency fund separate from your main account. Out of sight, out of mind, right? Remember, this fund is your financial bodyguard. It's there to protect you in case of an unexpected expense or income loss. So stay disciplined and your future self will thank you. Let's keep going. We have more great advice on the way. While building an emergency fund, avoid common pitfalls. Some people underestimate how much they'll need. Remember, aim for three, six months of living expenses. It might seem like a lot, but when an emergency strikes, you'll be thankful. Another mistake, not starting at all because the goal seems too big. Start small, even if it's just a few dollars a week. Progress is progress is progress. Also, don't make the mistake of dipping into your emergency fund for non-emergencies. Be disciplined and save it for true financial surprises. Lastly, avoid high-risk investments for your emergency fund. It's about security, not growth. Avoid these mistakes and you'll be well on your way to financial security. Let's keep learning together. Stick around for more tips and insights. An emergency fund is like a financial safety net. It's there to catch you when unexpected expenses come your way. Having this fund can greatly impact your overall financial health. Imagine you suddenly lose your job or face a hefty medical bill. Without an emergency fund, you might have to take on debt or compromise your long-term savings. But with an emergency fund, you can navigate these crises without derailing your financial future. This fund also reduces financial stress. Knowing you have a buffer can provide peace of mind, allowing you to make better, more calculated financial decisions. It's a crucial part of any sound financial plan, offering protection and stability. In conclusion, building an emergency fund should be a priority. Start small, stay disciplined, avoid common mistakes, and choose a safe place for your fund. You're not only saving money, you're also investing in your financial well-being. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Keep watching, and together, let's secure your financial future. See you in the next video.